Ty. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Stephanie Mansour. Hi, Stephanie. I'm Sandy. This Sandy. Is Andy Gavrillo is our producer. Nice to meet you. WGN, right? Yes. yes, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about this category and what it means to you to have won. Uh, it's a new category this year for Best Outstanding Morning Newscast. And so we have a great morning show at WGN, and we could have submitted a lot of shows. We decided to go with the best, or excuse me, the morning after the Blackhawks won the Stanley Cup. Uh huh. We had such an amazing show that day. There should have been like a, a team of people here, like 30 other people. Because, I mean, wow. there's so many people that work on our show. Uh, but I guess me and Sandy are the only ones with no plans on Saturday <laughs> night. So. so here we are. You planned your schedule around this, though, right? Because exactly. you knew you were going to win. Exactly. <laughs> so what would you say made this more, um, I guess, what made this win or beat out the other, the other people in this category? Well, it's a shared win. There's another team that won as well, um, but that's exciting. Um, I'm just glad we got recognized as a team because really there's so many, like Andy said, so many of us behind the scenes who come together to put one show together. Yeah. And it was such a special day for Chicago the morning yeah. after the Hawks. You know, we were chasing the cup around the city yeah. and the fans were so excited. It was just one of the best mornings yeah. because it was just a good news morning. So right. it felt really good. What was the most exciting part for you guys that morning at work? Uh, well, we didn't really know in advance where the cup was going to be, so we would have to just f follow the team, and and we had our sky cam following okay. the, the the cup. It was just it just showed what we do best, which is like just fly by the seat of our pants, right. you know. Right. Yeah. Nothing's planned. So exactly. that's awesome. How did you guys celebrate the Stanley Cup win, or, or was that enough for you just at work? <laughs> it was enough because you know we had to go to bed early, so I don't even think I saw the final puck go in. Yeah, and, and I think there was a parade a, a couple days later yeah. to plan. So yeah. Yeah. We don't get a lot of time to celebrate, but this is a good celebration. Right, yeah. So. Well, congratulations again. Yeah, is there anyone that you missed thanking on stage that you want to thank right now? <laughs> I'll have to say hi to Mom and Dad, who are not watching, but hey, Mom and Dad. <laughs> and just uh, the entire crew at WGN. Yeah. There was like a whole host of people that uh, weren't here today, so thanks to everybody. Yeah, great. Well, and just um, sort of a random question. Do you have any advice for aspiring journalists or aspiring media um, people that, that are trying to get to where you are now and any advice to them as to you know the work ethic and the time and the dedication and not being able to see the Stanley Cup game but then having to report on it. Yeah. You have to have a passion for this. Um, it's not just when you feel like given you know giving your all to a story every story is as important as the next whether it be a celebration or unfortunately a crime etc. Mm -hmm. um, if you're in the newsroom, say yes to everything. I feel like, you know, when I was an intern, I said yes to everything, and I just figured it out later. And the more you learn, the more valuable you are to the newsroom, the further you can get. I think we've all been in a position where we've done things we were not perhaps well-versed on how to do things, uh -huh. but you figure it out, um, yeah. and you work as a team. It's really important to work as a team. That's the great. most important thing is just don't give up. Keep pursuing your dream, no matter what obstacles are in your way. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much. Congratulations again to WGN. Thank you. Have a great celebration tonight. <laughs>